hello. I think this is the start of a new vlog. To catch you up, yesterday was kind of rough. Her pain was just, it wasn't necessarily pain, but just very, very uncomfortable feeling all of the drugs. Today, we've got a lot of improvement. They pulled another chest tube. They took out one of the IVs in her neck and I haven't been there yet, but Aiden says that her energy is a lot better. I guess her surgeon stopped by and said she's making it look too easy. She's making people jealous, which is just, you know, classic of her. <laughs> I'm staying here until Aiden finishes his Christmas shopping. And then once he's back, I'll head up to the hospital and we'll just hang out tonight. They don't want her to feel like rushed out of the ICU. They don't want to rush her at all. So they're thinking of moving her out tomorrow morning, which is still so exciting. So yeah, from what I've heard, things are good. She went around the unit twice walking. She had to take a break, but yeah, two times, which is again, awesome. So it's just such a sigh of relief after yesterday. It was just not fun to see her uncomfortable. So I'm excited to be back in there when she's in a better, a better mood, better spirits, feeling a little bit more her. Back to the hospital, my mom requested reading glasses, my dad requested a drink. <sighs> Look how much they've taken off. Feels really fast. Have a good night. Sound too good, doesn't it? Good morning, 7am. My dad mm -hmm. and brother are already gone to the hospital because my dad got a call that they moved her out of the ICU. A little recap of yesterday. They removed her swan, which is the line in her neck. They removed her arterial line, which was in her arm. And then they also removed another chest tube. She did have a migraine aura for a little bit, but we did watch another video of a guy after a transplant and he did have pretty bad migraine. So it was something my mom was kind of expecting. I don't know about prepared for, but like expecting. She just seemed so much more awake and alert yesterday, which is very nice. She didn't have to take any extra pain meds. Also very nice. Yeah, we're hoping things continue to stay smooth from here on out. I mean, obviously that's all you can hope for. Yeah, but we're pretty happy with her leaving the ICU. We didn't want to rush it yesterday and we all felt more comfortable today, I think including her doctors. So this is all good news. We'll see where she's at today. Obviously you never really know until you get there, but so far so good. Currently headed to pick Keely up from school. Today's kind of a crazy day. Our schedule's a little bit weird because my little brother has a dentist appointment at five. My aunt and grandma still aren't here. And I have to drop Noah off at the airport. So we're just all kind of running around crazy. My mom did get moved out of the ICU, I think I said that. But she started to feel a lot like she felt on Sunday. They think that the reason could be because they were over diuresing her. So, I mean, let's hope that bringing that down is the solution, but we'll see probably in the next couple days if that fixes the problem. I'm gonna head up probably around three. I'm going a little bit early today because I'm going to have to leave early to drop Noah off. He's gonna go to California to see his parents for a few days um, to make up for the fact that we weren't able to go to California as planned this year. I think it'll be good for him to just have a little wind down moment. And then he's also able to pick up our Christmas presents. Yeah, it's gonna be a really weird Christmas, but um, this is the best Christmas present we could have gotten. So I really can't complain. Yeah, I can. I Very space like base. Leaving to drive Noah to the airport. Seemed like she was doing a lot better by the time we left. Talked to the surgeon and he's saying that if education is good and things continue smoothly, she may be able to leave this weekend or Monday. Again, not getting my hopes up. That seems really, really fast, but here's your update. Hi 
Hi guys, I'm in the hospital parking lot. I don't think I've given an update today. Um, they are planning on taking her off of her IVs today. They're just doing like the last dose. I'm about to go in, but I thought for a second we would talk about the things that I haven't covered because things got so chaotic, but if you were having a heart transplant, it would be kind of important to know. I honestly could make a whole video about all the random wacky things that happen from a heart transplant, but some big ones are every video she had ever watched or everything that she had researched said that you would not remember intubation. She was actually woken up while she was intubated for I think a few hours and she says it's one of the worst parts of this entire thing was her being intubated and remembering it. Some other random things she was very nauseous the first day and threw up a couple times. She had a migraine aura the other day and I do think I mentioned that but I might not have. And then another super super weird thing is hallucinations and i think it's from the high dose steroids but she has had a few hallucinations and luckily she knew that that was a possibility and was prepared for it but yeah there's just a lot that goes into a heart transplant that you don't even think about as more things come up i'm sure i'll tell you but yeah i think today's been pretty standard one of her good days i think they're getting a little bit more consistent like we kind of know what to expect day to day a little bit more. I don't know if that's true, but yeah, no major updates today. Ed by the bed, watching her sleep. Like my lunchbox. It's a really cute lunchbox. Custom fits. Fit check. Love it. <laughs> It's a little past nine o'clock. I'm about to leave the hospital. It was a pretty good day. No major updates. They took out her IV. She's done with all of her IV medications. I have a feeling tomorrow might be rough. They're making her fast for her heart biopsy and fasting never does good things to her. So I'm a little bit worried about that, but fingers crossed the biopsy comes back okay. They are kind of hinting at Christmas to come home, but once again, I'm not expecting it. They did say 10 to 15 days, which is Christmas to whatever five days after Christmas is the 30th. <laughs> so I'm just kind of expecting the 30th and if it's sooner than that, then that's great. Good morning, it's Thursday. Just made it to the hospital. Pulling another clope in today, <laughs> closing it open. My dad has to go do some work stuff, so I'm kind of taking over for him this morning. And then my brother will come in and hopefully it's during one of our two shifts that she goes back for her biopsy. I assume risk, infection, damage to the blood vessel, bleeding. And then we can tickle your heart when you go and we can make it go fast or slow. Okay. Sometimes we have to use medications so that it may be a shock. It's very, very rare. The other, only other complication with the biopsy is when we do the biopsy, we typically go to the middle of the heart. Sometimes it goes to the side of the heart. I'm just picking up some random sheet of paper. <laughs> so, so this is your heart. So we have, this is the right and the left. So typically what we do is we try to aim for this. Okay. Okay. Very rarely when we are not sure it will you know, come towards the top or this side. I guess what we call the free ball. There's a small sack around it and if we puncture it through there's usually Hello. They, hi, hi. They, they can be bleeding or what we call tamponade and then we have to go on and drain. It's a very rare complication okay. but it can happen. Okay. So what we do is we always aim for this one. Okay. In the middle. So if there's any bleeding it stays within the heart. Okay. Okay. We are going to take three deep breaths on the third one. Um, we're going to hold, okay? Okay. Put your hands forward. Okay. We are making a list of all the things we need to do before mom comes home because we need to do a big massive deep cleaning of all the touch points just everything that needs to get done so that we are prepared for when they eventually say okay it's time to go home i am about to head to the store i definitely forgot to do an update after i left the hospital yesterday so basically she has no tubes left they took out her last chest tube 
they did the biopsy luckily they were able to get her in for the biopsy around 11 30 so it was really a lot earlier than we expected it to be hallelujah so she didn't have to fast for as many hours as we were expecting her to her steroids had made her blood sugar a little bit wacky which is something we're trying to kind of manage but they have hinted at her going home possibly tomorrow i'm thinking that that won't happen based off of my very educated guess so i'm just kind of planning on more christmas eve or christmas maybe i don't know things are going really good they said they're not even really worried about her biopsy numbers because of how well everything's been going but we should get those results nonetheless today i am going to go buy some cleaning supplies and then i'm going to the hospital we got clorox wipes for every floor a toilet bowl cleaner keely needed some more conditioner i got a dusting glove so the dust isn't in the air another bathroom cleaner and then this is just another disinfectant spray we have one of these already but i want one for the second floor and then we needed more egos and they had a two by two get one free so mine as well back at the hospital i don't know if i've actually explained but we started with alice cullen it was originally the baseball player ornament from target and i redid it so her leg is up because she does that in the movie and then i got the idea to do more and we've been sneaking them into my mom's room every day so next came dr colin carlisle after that was eddie on the bed ed on the bed instead of elbow on our shelf Ed edward snuck in came miss bella <laughs> and then today is our jacob Dressed up as Santa. I have one more, but she doesn't know that. <laughs> headed out. Might be my last time leaving at night. Let's see. I'm about to head inside. I know that the lighting is terrible, but it's so exciting that she's coming home. But the reality of it all is just kind of setting in. We're treating one disease for another, basically. So it's just kind of overwhelming. I just need to wrap my head around the fact that she's coming home and life's gonna be kind of weird for the next three-ish months and <sighs> good morning it is the 23rd we just finished up some house cleaning because she's coming home she's home here's my mom's christmas present Yay! So this is the reality of a heart transplant. No, How cute. Are you excited to have mom home? Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, this is cool. It's cool. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Good morning. Merry Christmas Eve. My parents have headed to the only lab that's open down in Sugar House, so about 35-ish minutes from here. This is get some blood labs, make sure she's taking the right amount of her anti-rejection meds, and then I think we're just chilling at home all day. It's just, I did not think she would be back for Christmas Eve, so it's exciting. Edgar submitted himself to unparalleled. One of the amazing people in the ward got us a tamale dinner of our Christmas Eve, so I'm gonna prepare that. Come on, let's play. Come on, You must not. Stop, 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 stop. 